Hey, are you there? Listen to this. News. Music. Poetry. Drama. Interviews. Commercials. And variety shows are all beautifully packaged into one piece and represented on the number one radio station, Apex One Radio. Apex One Radio? Stay with us. Stay with us. Good morning and welcome to African Fiesta, Elizabeth Angu. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. And you? I'm all right. So, how is uh, Bamenda? We are doing great. We are doing just fine. Right. Hmm. We thank God. So, uh, Angu Elizabeth, you are the president of the... Producers Guild of Cameroon call it the PGC. So, first question: How is the guild doing? Oh, thank you, thank you. I think uh, the Producers Guild of Cameroon of late is not very, very functional. Hmm. I would say it. I mean, not perfectly functional. It is functional. But uh, I want to say, I don't think it is the way it's supposed to be because if you want to look overall the number of uh, producers that are in common, not all of them are registered and uh, meetings are not very functional in the sense that the attendance is poor and with poor attendance, very few persons attending. Uh, it is obvious that I can be with all you know, with all happiness that it is actually doing well. Now, uh, uh, some two years back, it was better than it is at the moment. Hmm. Now, uh, Elizabeth Angu, what explains this lack of enthusiasm? Well, well, uh, most of our producers are complaining that they are not doing real business. Hmm. They have a good number of films in the cupboard. They have a good number of things that they have released and they have actually, they have not been able to realize what they put into the product. Right. Because either they were projecting that they were going to sell to see uh, to TV stations and then sell them in DVD forms or whatever format. Hmm. But uh, a good number of them have not been able to achieve this. That is exactly... And then they are like this. That is they are the, like this. Right. Uh, Elizabeth, that is exactly why I brought you uh, on the airwaves today so that you could explain this problem of uh, the lack of exposure of Cameroonian movies. Uh, but before we come there, I, I would like to find out from you uh, what is the current uh, membership strength of the uh, Producers Guild of Cameroon? And what do producers yeah. think about the guild? Well, uh, the, at the moment, I would say we have about Six to seven registered members hmm. all over the national territory. Uh, even uh, uh, some in the diaspora. Right. But I want to tell you that if you want to take a record of the number of producers that are, producers that are in Cameroon, they should be like 140. Right. Or to the tune of 40. Because they, they are not registered with you. So it is difficult. It's very, very difficult to actually assess the number of producers that are in Cameroon. You only get things in the market to say who produce this with all the strange names in name that I've never heard or have never come in contact with. Hmm. So so far, like I said, there are about sixty, sixty seven registered members. Right. Where we can talk them, the active members. Hmm. So they are good members. Okay. We yeah. are actually go because we don't know them anywhere. Hmm. Now, yeah. Elizabeth, and, you, uh, right, go ahead. Like you said, uh, what do you guys think about the guild? Uh, most of them think that the guild is not actually, they are not benefiting anything. Hmm. They are not benefiting, rather when they come they, to be together, they are asking them for one thing, for one contribution or the other. That they should get register, they should help one another, and all of those things. And then something that they, it's not worth the trouble. Hmm. It's not actually worth while uh, uh, registering into a guild, uh, the producer's guild, to be more specific. 
Okay. Now, Elizabeth, you are uh, heading a guild that is directly linked with the production of uh, uh, movies. Uh, let me ask you this question. Does your office have statistics on the number of films uh, that are shot in Cameroon annually? Very difficult, I will say. Very very difficult. As I explained earlier, there are about 140 producers and a book in Cameroon. Hmm. But not all of them are registered with the guild. And uh, the only way that we have had statistics of the number of things that are shot annually should have been if they had clearance through the the division of culture right. in the various uh, regions. But that does not happen. We have amateur producers. We just take people, get our money, and you know that a producer has produced a movie here. Hmm. For one year, you may not even know the number of things that have been produced in, in the country because you don't, there is no common forum where we meet and uh, a common place where this number of things are actually registered. Right. As a producer and as a producer, I will know that this producer has uh, actually shot this number of movies this year. Maybe one, maybe two. You know, and how many are released? You know, films shot are not being released. Hmm. So sometimes it's very, very difficult to actually take statistics of the number of films that have been shot in the year. So what you say is... Roughly, Right, go ahead. Sorry. Yes, go ahead, yes. Elizabeth. But uh, recently, I want to think that for each year, currently, because each month, at least about three or four projects are going on. Right. There are at least three to four uh, things being shot all over the national territory. Okay. Not like that. I mean, in a third month. Right. Some month is about seven. So. If you, roughly, if you want to calculate the number of things that are shot in a year, uh, it could be to the neighborhood of about 40. Right. 40, 50 movies. Hmm. And many those we know. Yeah. Now, this 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 is a great number. Uh, let's get into the crux of the matter, Elizabeth. Uh a lot more films are being produced in Cameroon than Cameroonians are aware of. Has the producer skill of Cameroon established that this is a serious problem? Yeah, you are right. It is a very, very serious problem. There are so many things, even myself here, the president, sometimes I hear of, uh, you know, uh, titles of some movies and I begin to wonder whether we are actually Cameroonian movies hmm. because I don't know where they are, the producers, in which town they were shot, and all of that. Majority of the movies, you know, since they are a uh, center on uh, only making movies and uh, making money, the producers they they, sh- they 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 will shoot some of these movies with intention of maybe going to festivals, you know selling them to TV stations out of the country where they could make money. Sometimes you only see awards coming back. Hmm. You only know that the film has been shot in Cameroon when you hear such and such a team has won this award in this country. And uh, you know, going back here, the audience back here, they don't even know. They don't know that they have films of those uh, that magnitude. Films that can uh, I have a word in that can actually be interesting. You know, uh, more often than not, the movies that in here, uh, that are uh, maybe produced here and uh, they multiply to sell around are those that have a problem, a little sound problem, have one problem or the other. Majority of the movies, they go for film festivals. Right. And we only know that they are good when they are coming back with awards and sometimes those producers are forced to multiply in order to circulate in the country they prefer to stay to keep them at festival things yeah i will even justify by quoting just 
one example. Uh, Nina's diary that has made so much noise outside. We have had a lot of awards. You will not be surprised to, to see that for how many years now we don't have copies in the market. Hmm. So when the team, they have heard about it, but they don't have copies available. Now, Elizabeth, uh, having established yes, that this is a problem, uh, what is your guilt doing? In your meetings, do you bring this up as uh, a very serious problem and discuss it? Yes, we do. We do. Uh, we were even uh, once in, in, the, in the meeting who encouraged the producer of Nina's diary to have it circulated or to have it produced. Else it would have remained as a festival. Hmm. In fact, we dis- it is it, it, one of we, our main concerns that we should be able to consume those good foods that we produce. We should not only you cook, you cook good food, you take it outside, but your own children, your own family cannot appreciate of it, cannot also enjoy it. So it is our cry in all the meetings. We keep calling on all producers to come register and belong to the poor. And if you produce a movie, let us know. We are supposed to have uh, a, a, a forum, a corporate forum each year where we are supposed to uh, maybe uh, uh, showcase our movie. Hmm. And then we know exactly the kind of movie that we have and uh, the, those that are good and all of that. But then, more often than not, those movies, we don't have them. We are fighting hard. I do hope one day we will get there. But we are fighting very hard to make sure that those things don't only remain in the airport, they don't only get out of the country and we only get them uh, coming back when they have a work. So we are really fighting. It is difficult, but we are doing it. We are doing it. Right. But it's always a point on our agenda in each meeting. Right. Now, Elizabeth, it will be interesting to know where exactly these films go to. When they are shot, edited, multiplied into CDs, or whatever form uh, the producers want, where do they go to thereafter? Do they stay in the producers' houses, in their cupboards, on their tables? Where do they go to? Well, uh, most of the movies, uh, if I told, they get out of the cupboards. Uh, uh, Editing, they get out of the uh, cupboard and they are mass produced. The producers who either at least launch in one or manage to launch in maybe their town of origin. After launching in their town of origin, they can take it for uh, you know take it outside for two to one two weeks to one month. They sell the CDM, holding them, or going to meeting houses, going to offices, and all of that. And after that, he dies a natural death. Especially if it is a type that many persons don't appreciate and they don't die. Hmm. The producers, they hardly look around with this movie. They say, go to the Star Wars, go to, in fact, all the regions of the, uh, the, 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 the country. Most often, the things in the Northwest remain in the Northwest. Hmm. Those in the far west, we move in the far west. We hardly, most of us in the Norway, don't know the, the number of the things that have been uh, shot and launched in uh, the far west. And those in the far west, the same. Even in Yaoundé, it's the same thing. So, in fact, the, pro- the issue is that there is no real marketing in Cameroon as of now. We don't have marketers. That is the greatest problem we have. Because if we have marketers, these marketers will be able to take these things like what is happening in Nigeria and all other places. Hmm. A thing is produced today. And before you know it, before two days, it is all over the national territory. So it's not an issue here in, uh, in Cameroon because you can produce a, a good thing here in Bamenda or in Yaoundé or, 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 or wherever. But the, the, the other regions will never know about it. They will never know about it. So that is the problem. Most of these uh, things, either they, they remain in the cupboard because the producer cannot continue because of lack of financing, 
So if they manage to produce, they don't go to other towns. Right. Thank you. Elizabeth, um, one of the projects which the current board of uh, the CFI earmarked when they came to office in 2013 was the creation of uh, a, a, a movie sale kiosk in some major cities of Cameroon. Yeah. Did that happen? You are right. You are right. Did it happen? That one. Well, the, the way for I turned towards that, and a project was written for funding, either by the ministry uh, or some other uh, organizations where they sent in the, the project, but uh, it did not materialize. Hmm. I'm sorry to say this. It didn't materialize at all. So, so far, that project did not go through. So, up to now, and did, 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 they, did they explain yes. what did they explain what happened uh, uh, to cause the project not to materialize? Well, I happen to be uh, one of the board members of the CFI. Mm. Uh, most especially the financial section. Okay. I think one of our setbacks was the financial part of it. We needed money in order to produce those cures. The intentions were good, but the means were not available. Right. Because they intended putting those cures all over, all the region of the country. Where when a thing is released today, you get there, that's where you will you'll be able to get a movie. Those newly produced movies, you get to any, any, to any region. Within a space of one week, you were able to get the movies. But unfortunately, it didn't materialize. And all this because of financial setback. It, it, it's unfortunate to say, but I want to say that uh, the, go uh, the government, our government, has not been very fair to us. If you want to compare the other countries, they at least they started with, the, with government support. Hmm. And they now became in the city. And they were able to go to places. And they have been able to do things. Because they were given the original support. Right. We lack that support. And uh, that is why a lot of things are not going. We may have good projects. Very good projects. But where is the money? We money. It is money that does everything. Without money, you cannot be proud to do anything. Hmm. So... I think the producers back at home here in Cameroon are still having a big problem as far as finances are concerned. Right. So, uh, and that is why we are going to places. Hmm. So, what is the relationship between the Producers Guild of Cameroon and the media, especially TV stations in the country? I will not say that it's, uh, the relationship is that it's best. We struggle to have a, uh, a direct relationship with the CRTV. Mm. Uh, I wanted to apply several for them to give us some air time where we could really advertise our movies, we could talk about the industry and many others. Uh, we have sent in this uh, proposal, proposal mm. to CRTV. And uh, it was, they, they said they should, we should give them time to actually visualize and see how that is going to, possible, uh, going to be possible. Mm. And then they added that even if that is going to be possible, we are going to pay some money for exposure. And you know what it means? When you start talking about money, everybody shies away. Mm. So since then, there has never been really a, a real follow up. The only thing that Cameroon with uh, our national TV station is uh, this concept that you know about. Right. That is actually what is uh, here. Yeah, mm. That is what is, uh, at the moment is actually going on. And then a few, we also have some few programs with some other TV stations where once in a while a producer, a filmmaker, a director, is invited to talk about the topic uh, in the film industry. 
Mm. Then we have our uh, foundation uh, station, yeah, radio station in, in Bamenda here, and many others here in the southwest and in Yahumi. Not, not necessarily the, the, uh, our uh, mother station, Yari TV. We are also working out a relationship with the Canada and uh, FTV at the moment. We are coming into a working relationship. Désolé, votre crédit. Okay, uh, her name is uh, Angu Elisbert. She is the president of uh, the Producers Guild of Cameroon. Uh, unfortunately, we lost her there, but definitely we're going to come back to uh, that interview. She's speaking from Bamenda, Northwest Regional Capital. In Cameroon, in Cameroon, in you are listening to Apex One Radio. Stay with us for the best bet in the new wave of communication. Apex One Radio. Get informed, enjoy, and learn. Pay before. Okay, uh, Angu Elizabeth, uh, you're back on the air. And you were talking about uh, your relationship with uh, TV stations in Cameroon. Yeah. I was actually talking about uh, our relationship with the TV stations in Cameroon. And I uh, mentioned the fact that uh, would they, they, our relationship with TV stations in Cameroon has not been the best, especially our mother station. Hmm. We had written a project, a project in which we ask for airtime so we can advertise our movies, we can talk about the industry, and uh, at least it about us uh, and uh, we were the director said we should hold on and that they were going to work out the modality uh, through which that relationship were going to go through and then he added that we were going to, in in order that that should go through we were going to at least chip in something we we're going to pay some amount of money so, uh, and, uh, you know, the moment uh, money is mentioned, producers always shy away. Hmm. And this, this is to discourage uh, that, uh, that follow-up because we knew we were going to pay something, that we are going to pay money. They didn't ask for maybe some kind of exchange of services. They didn't do that. But they asked that we are going to pay some money in order to have some airtime. Then, so far, I said it is only the only one program that is projecting the film industry at the moment is the program on set. Right. It is actually free and it is very, very successful. But, however, we are planning of another of another proposal. We went and had a meeting with uh, the director of CRTV. He asked us to go and write a proposal, especially when we wrote last time and uh, protested why our movies are, are projected during on holy hours where almost everybody is is going to sleep. Hmm. Uh, he asked us to go and rewrite another project, stating where, stating exactly when we want our movies to be projected and. Uh, when we want that the airtime should be given all to us, we are working towards that. In our next uh, national meeting, we are going to come out with something. But uh, at, the, at the moment, we are also working out a relationship with the uh, TV and Canada for exchange of services. Right. Where they are going to take our movies, air them for free without any payment and then in turn they will give us a time where we can you know advertise our the industry you know, advertise our movies and uh, a lot of other things about the industry we are working towards that too and i want to think that no long distance from now that one is going to be possible but so far as far as uh, we are concerned up in bamenda i know that there is a 
a constant program that is on foundation radio that has been inviting filmmakers, uh, producers, directors, in fact, actors and actresses, and they go on air to, to express themselves, explain exactly what is happening in the industry, uh, some of the problems, uh, some of uh, you know the achievements and all of that. So I want to think that come 2016, the relationship with the TV stations will be quite at its best. Now, uh, Elizabeth, I, I just want to find out from you, does the producer's kid of Cameroon uh, find it normal that uh, you should write proposals before CRTV projects uh, your movies, movies that are aimed at uh, uh, protecting the image of uh, your country? What do we find it normal? Yes, that uh, do, do, do you have to write proposals for, for, for the national broadcaster to project your movies? Is, do you find that as uh, something you condole with? It is not very normal and it, uh, it is quite strange and embarrassing because I want to think that as the only mother station, uh, there is a section that is supposed to be for projecting the, 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 movies. The, the movie world mm. is specifically for that and they are the ones who are supposed to propose to us give us some air time and tell us maybe between this time and this time uh, we should look for program we should look as like the program on, on set is going on to give us a portion too where we could talk about the, the, the movie industry advertise our movie, uh, even our stars and all of that. Mm. That will go a long way to prom promote the industry. But I uh, find it that we are the ones struggling to act for that airtime. So I don't find it very, very normal. Right. Now, in the past, yeah. in the past, uh, CRTV's problem was that the quality of the movies uh, you produce uh, uh, was not the best but apparently it's no longer the case uh, everybody is saying that uh, Cameroon produces uh, very good quality movies nowadays ain't we should expect CRTV uh, to demand more of those movies so what is the problem uh, I think uh, they are working there's a project a program in uh, CRTV that is working towards that very soon without running after CRTV. Hmm. It will be CRTV the running after us because we will need content. And I want to think that uh, the quality of movies now in Cameroon has improved. Has improved tremendously. Hmm. And I don't want to think that CRTV can uh, reject our movies the because the quality is no longer good. But I want to think that, uh, I want to assure you that in no distant time from now, that is from 2016, I want to think that uh, Cameroonian movies will be passing on uh, CRTV. Hmm. Yeah. Already now, there is a Syria, there are two Syrias that will soon go professional, they will soon be passing on CRTV. And future movies too, will follow suit so I think that one will not be a problem again right so uh, also there are a few online platforms that project Cameroonian movies even though some of them uh, you have to pay before you get exposed to those movies yet uh, Cameroonians are still fit dragging in consuming your products so um, is there a way you can convince Cameroonians that at least even though you don't know most of our movies but there are some especially online uh, which you can uh, uh, get yourselves exposed to yeah. In fact, it is not even us convincing Cameroonians to to watch those movies online or even to buy our products. They themselves have realized that Cameroonian movies are now different and that they are competing with the Nigerian movies and some of them are even better. Mm. I want to tell you that we call uh, audience, audience or customers I don't know how I can put them. They call us. 
they watch movies when they watch on on uh, Africa Magic, uh, My TV Africa, and all of those uh, um, media. They call us. Where can I find them? I saw this movie here. Where can I? We are the ones that are lazy. Hmm. Let me put it that way, because we have no medicine available in all the towns. We have not created uh, corners, some kind of co uh, corners where if you want a movie, okay, if you come to Kamaru, uh, to to Bamenda, or if you go to Yaoundé, you go to Douala, you go to to Boya, where specifically can you have a Cameroonian movie? Hmm. Nobody will be able to do that exactly. The moment we are able to create, uh, you know, the forum, or the point, the meeting points where if you are in Boya, where would I get a Cameroonian movie? You will just know where you are supposed to go to. Uh, if I'm in Bamenda, where would I get a Cameroonian movie? Hmm. Allah, uh, uh, Leo, Allah, Leo has just opened a depot for selling Cameroonian movies. Okay. But how many producers are, producers are willing to depot, deposit their movies in, uh, in, the, uh, in the store where he's, he's selling Cameroonian movies? They are not willing to do it, but they are there in the uh, cupboard. Hmm. Some are there hanging around. You you, are, you enter a movie shop and you are over to have 50 movies. Do you actually call that a serious movie shop? Hmm. You have five or six movies. You turn around, you don't have movies. Then, how are the audience supposed to be then? Because they are looking for the movies, but they don't know where to pick them. Right. That is our problem now. Okay. It's not even the issue. I want to say that the producers are lazy hmm. very lazy amongst this right now uh, elizabeth perspective uh, do you envisage a time when one would walk into three four five cameroonian homes uh, on a saturday afternoon for instance and find uh, uh, people watching only cameroonian movies i i i we are dreaming of such a period come and it will not be long from now hmm. it will not be long Given that the quality of movies that we produce now are far better than what we used to have two, three years back. Mm. In fact, even people are talking about it, people are appreciating. And I want to think that in the next one, two years, come 2016, 2017, most families, if you walk into about 10 homes, mm. About seven of them watching Cameroonian movies. Hmm. I want to assure you that. Right. It is very, very certain that that is going to happen. Yes. Okay, Elizabeth, uh, that is a brilliant way of ending this radio talk. Um, hopefully, uh, your wish is going to uh, materialize. And we hope that Cameroonians will start getting interested in their own movies. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for talking to Apex One Radio. Thank you very much, Mr. Kanjo. MS, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I want to say. I thank you for giving us this opportunity to be able to express our worries, to be able to express our concern and exactly what is happening with the, the PGC in particular. Hmm. I want to say that we are longing for more, more of this exposure and more opportunity for us to be able to say exactly because when the more you expose your problem, the more you are getting nearer the source of how those problems can be solved. Thank you. The more God you expose you. your problems, the more you are getting nearer the source of the solution. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And do have a fantastic time yeah. out there in Bamenda. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. It's and been nice talking to you. Have a yeah. nice time. Bye-bye. Yeah.